This is my office, Brady. Full of beautiful memories, full of actions, full of work, and also full of some uh, nice curiosities. See this, for instance, looks like a plain donut. Let's see. It separates into two Möbius bands which are intertwined. This required quite some skill at the, you know, 3D printer. This is the famous Möbius band in wood, you know, just one side and just one boundary. This is Pythagoras. We know, we're not even sure that Pythagoras existed, for all that we know he may be a myth. So important myth. I bought this in Athens, one of the places most important for us mathematicians. A place where, you know, mathematics was upgraded from a set of recipes to solve problems into a way to access some eternal truths. One of the most important books ever, The Elements of Euclid, here in the beautiful English edition. Look at these colors. Wow. Here there was an effort to bring the very notion of reasoning to life. Hey, look at this. This is a memory from my teaching in the Ames Cameroon Institute. You know, I go teaching in Africa every year, at least a couple of weeks, and it's important for me, and I get a lot of joy from that. And this is a memory from there, and this is the symbol I love so much, the integral. You know, this is like an S, elongated. I work in analysis. I draw integrals all the time. So much that whenever I start working on a problem, the symbol integral flashes in my mind. You know, it was Leibniz who invented this notation. It's an S, like summation. And we know the exact year and even the exact day on which he thought of this notation. One of the most successful ever. When you think that this flash of Leibniz now is used by hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Everybody learns it in school. And reminds us that notation is so important also. S is a dear letter to me. Because S is the symbol of entropy, on which I worked for years of my life. And S is the symbol also of integration. Look at that. This was knitted for me. This is hyperbolic crochet. It's constant negative curvature. It's like a little bit of the hyperbolic plane. Now, we know, since Hilbert, that there's no way to represent the hyperbolic plane in its entirety in our limited three-dimensional world. If you try to continue it, it will break down. At some point, it will be impossible to continue. And still, that little bit you can touch. And it has a property that any point, uh, any little bit has exactly the same geometry as any other little bit. Constant curvature. I'd like to show you one of the jewels of this collection. This is the gum box. This took 10 years to the guy who discovered it. A solution to a big and simple problem at the same time. Is it possible to make a shape that would be convex, homogeneous, and have only two equilibrium positions? Only two. One stable and one unstable. If I let it go from any initial configuration, it will go back to its stable position. Your office seems very busy, seems very full of things. What should I re read from your, from your office? From my office, first read that I'm a busy guy and that I receive a lot of things. Books arrive here almost every day, reports, mm, letters, so many, many things. And also, I travel a lot, so Everywhere I travel, there's something for me to take back. Many of these uh, objects are associated with memories for me. Do they help you work? Like when, you're, when you want to think, when you want to work things out, when you want to do mathematics, 
is this environment like good for you? Does it stimulate you or does it distract you? Like where do you do your best thinking? Is it in an environment like this? I think what is around you when you think doesn't matter so much. What you feel matters. Sounds, how comfortable you are, the desktop, your chair, that really matters. And um, having supplies of paper, having blackboard, that also matters. And when you think deeply, the rest just vanishes in some sense. But you may have the feeling of being at home. In some situations, however, when you are deeply with your problem, you feel at home anywhere, just thinking about your problem. Some of my best work was done in hotels, on the train, and uh, there's no rule. More important when you think is what goes on inside rather than outside. We have some enlightening texts by Henri Poincaré describing various illuminations arriving randomly, sometimes crossing the street, sometimes during some walk. This also is in my experience. The best thoughts can be nearly everywhere. Then to do your systematic work, to work quietly and systematically, it's good to really feel in your environment, like at home. But the real flash moments, they can occur anywhere. Flash moment is most often when you're alone, that's for sure. But um, some of the most important ones in my career occurred in conversation. Actually, my, in my book Berthold Theorem, first chapter is about how Clément Wu and I start working on the so-called Landau damping. And there's a discussion between us, and there's a flash with the two of us. And it's clear that me alone or him alone, there would have been no flash. And that determined part of our life for the two years coming. Here are some sick ones that I will have to take to reparation. Oh, that's your hospital. This one, that it's a hospital. That one from Macedonia, or that one from Argentina. They will go into surgery. And this is one thing with the Fields Medal. It's really an award from the community. 